Hey everybody, today I'm going to go over a few bug bounty providers uh, and I'm going to go over the positives and the negatives of each one. I've listed a few of them here uh, because I've had a few people ask me how do you pick a proper uh, bug bounty uh, platform, one that is right for me, also how do you pick a target. I'm going to make a separate video on picking the target that is right for you. I'm asking one of the bug bounty platforms if I can uh, use their platform as an example to show you guys a few of the programs on. Um, but for now I'm just going to go over each of these uh, and I'm going to uh, show you each of these uh, and I'm going to give you the positives and the negatives of each platform. I'm only going to give you guys the facts that I know are true. I'm not going to give you guys anything uh, that is objective so I'm not going to... There are a few opinions that I have that I'm not going to share in this video. Um, so let's start. I'm going to go over to Firefox here. I have the first one open. Uh, I'm going to start with Integrity. This is personally my favorite platform. I really like this one. Um, there is not a lot of hackers uh, on it at the moment, so you won't have that much competition. Um, there is a really friendly triage stuff, so the people respond really quickly. I know that when I report a bug, probably by the by midnight or probably even by the next day I will have my report triage that's not always the case of course um, but it happens quite a lot pretty much uh, all of the time for me anyway um, there's also a negative for me at least uh, and that is that there's not enough programs on there for me um, there are a lot of programs on there but I like business to business programs a lot and there are a couple on there uh, maybe I can get invited to some more when I get up the ranks um, but I really like this pro uh, this platform there's also a reputation system just like all the other programs so um, how big bounty programs work is there are reputation systems and when you climb in reputation systems you get access to more private in uh, programs that you can participate in with less hackers um, and you have more chance of finding bugs in those um, now there's also uh, the part of your at integrity.me email address that's a personal email address that you have um, that also all the other programs that I'm going to talk about they have um, and it's the email address you use to register on the programs with um, I'm going to go more into detail on a specific uh, platform later uh, next one up is Buckroad <coughs> Now overall for me this one I haven't put much attention into because for me this is a little bit uh, hard to get into. Uh, I find the layout a bit more messy than other websites so I use it. Uh, I don't use it yet. There's still plenty of scope on other websites but I'm sure when the other websites are uh, exhausted I will return to this platform specifically to Buckrout. There's also again a big scope. Um, one of the problems you'll have here are that there are a lot more researchers than Integrity but there is also going to be a bigger scope so you'll have more programs to dive into but also more competition to account for. The same goes for HackerOne. These have a lot of scope as well. Now HackerOne has a beautiful activity page. I like reading the activity. Uh, these describe recent hacks that have been publicized and they are good for inspiration when you're looking for a methodology. Uh, again, a lot of programs, so a lot of targets to choose from, but also a lot of competition. They also make a beautiful blog. All of these make a beautiful blog. By the way, Integrity, Buckcrowd, they make beautiful blogs. And of course, you can also just go to Google and look for any bug bounty program, bug bounty platform that you'd like. Another way is to just straight up go directly to the big players in the field, like Google, and look up if they have a vulnerability program. Google in this case does, and everything from google.com, youtube.com, and blogger.com is in scope. So what you have here is a gigantic, massive scope that you can do huge amounts of recon on. And believe me guys, these uh, parties, they have so much acquisitions that, uh, that new things pop up all of the time. Uh, it's impossible to just keep all of this uh, under a tight scope because there's so much of it. These guys, they just rely on ethical hackers like you and me. <coughs> um, 
of course read these pages very well tesla has one as well um, and as you can see a lot of money can be made here on the, on the high level domains if you can find a remote code execution um, please don't be afraid again from these targets as well uh, a lot of things are still found on a daily basis so these are the different platforms that you can choose you can choose a platform that exists or you can go to the programs directly uh, and I hope this helped clear, uh, clear up some confusion around picking a bug bounty program for you guys. The next one is going to be about picking a bug bounty target. Uh, and this is going to be a video series. I'm also going to do some recon on google.com because that is allowed recon. Then I also want to do some actual hacking methodology. I cannot show you that on a target because if I actually find something uh, and I show it to the world that is a huge legal issue. Of course, that is what the responsible disclosure is all about. I tell Google, but not the world. And when I, when I stream something or when I record something like that, that's not really responsible disclosure. So I will be hacking on the juice shop then. And I'll also be doing an episode on writing a good report on what issues you should report versus what issues you should not report. So thank you for listening, and uh, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.